There is the uh, pit stop for the Andretti squad. Frank Montani second in, uh, that's the spirit, just get the boot in. On pole position, the man making his Formula E debut this weekend, Jean-Eric Verne. He's jumped straight into that Andretti car and stuck it on pole position. A wonderful performance. He's also got the fan boost. Oh, Buemi, is he going to hit the wall? Oh, he's he's broken, broken his front car. right oh. and he is out oh, of the race. No. Degrassi's off as well. Lucas oh. Degrassi, race leader out of the race as well. That means Nick Heidfeld moves into first place. Scott Speed finishing second on his debut for Andretti. That is a brilliant result for the American and wonderful to have that happen here in Miami. It was a lot of fun. I learned so much out there. 35 years ago, Nelson Piquet Sr. won his first ever Formula One race in Long Beach. And now, Nelson Piquet Jr. exits the final corner to win his first Formula E race in Long Beach. And then what happens as they come down the hill? The ab car hit the wall. Oh my goodness! The ab car hit the wall and Senna just went straight over the back of him. There's just two corners left for the Brazilian. The championship leader is going to win for the first time since the opening race of the season in Beijing. It's victory for Degrassi and for Abt. I have a problem with my with my car. Was a bit lucky. Right down two corners after the finish. He's going for it at the chicane again, is he? Antonio Felix da Costa looks to the inside line. There's going to be a touch there. Again, Trulli has to get out of it. Da Costa just about makes it through, and Trulli's still in the position. And da Costa's saying, Come this on. Is... <laughs> That's twice I've made that move now. Is PK going to get through? They touch. PK's off. Degrassi holds the position. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. There's an Thanks. emotional guy there, and you tell me that doesn't mean a lot to him. Stefan Sarazan going up the is inside there. I think it is actually. Ooh, so, uh, on the road, yeah. Oh, oh, and there's Sebastian Buemi. Sebastian Buemi is slowing. The race leader. And has he run into problems for the Renault team? And oh, and here's a look up the inside from Vern. He's done it, but he's gone in way too deep. PK gets the cutback. Side by side. Contact. PK holds the position. And he uh, then is going to look to the inside, I imagine, coming down into turn four. That's Duran. That's Senna. <laughs> and that's D'Ambrosio that he goes past. Amazing. Meanwhile, back to this battle for second place. D'Ambrosio under pressure. Look from the inside from Buemi. He's darting around in the mirrors. He's trying to go around the outside. Great attempt from Sebastian Buemi. Surely he cut across the track there. Buemi, oh! Oh dear. That oh, was spectacular. No. And here we go, Vern and Bird going side by side and one of the next EV cars getting involved because the two Renaults are right together as well. We're on board with Bird looking to the outside of Vern, but he needs to watch his mirrors too yeah. because those Renaults are coming. And we go green in Berlin and it's a very good start from Buemi. Is he going to wrestle the lead away on the run down towards the first corner? Yes, Buemi leads. He's managed to get past Vern and he moves over and they almost touch as they come into the first corner. I don't believe it! The two championship contenders out at turn one! And that means Degrassi would win the championship on countback! Here it is, look how far back he is. Yeah. You can see Nelson no. lifting and coasting a little bit. Oh no, and he's been caught. Yeah. Caught Sees a little coming. bit by surprise, maybe. He's been coming just in time. Oh, look the, at these two! The, teammates. the two Dragon Racing Faraday Future cars. And at the moment, it's D'Ambrosio who's in front of Duval. They're in their own little race. Pirouetting in the stadium oh, no. and then a shunt. And the two teammates hit each other. Mitch Evans is caught up in all of that as well. Oh, uh, and Van's going to get him this time. He's got the overlap. He's got the overlap. He's going to force the issue. Oh. PK still there. Van oh. Beveris through. He's going to go Heidfeld. There's Antonio Felix da Costa, bold move going up the inside of Lucas de Grassi and getting past. So de Grassi dropping a position now behind da Costa down to 14th position. The chequered flag awaits and it is a monumental day for Felix Rosenquist. There we go guys. I guess, I guess shoot this that you want the race man. 
Congratulations. Well, I apologise <laughs> for, for the, the language, uh, yeah. use of English, but you can understand that. Felix Rosenquist, seven races into his Formula E career, wins the Berlin e Prix here on Saturday. His first career Formula E win. He's closest oh. to the end. Just trip over oh, each other. Victory in New York City for Sam Bird, the first man to win a race in the Big Apple. And here come the Mahindra teammates. Gasly. Gasly got in the middle of it. Gasly in into the fence. And again. What happened there? Why you dive like this, man? You, 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 you broke my steering. Like. You went on inside. You touched me. You broke my steering. You, what? you dive in like you... you what should you I do? Hit you from behind or what? No! Oh, you just don't... I hit the brakes and I lock off. Yeah, so I, I... Yeah, but just don't play your life in Tom Pullman. Man, man what? Okay, next time I hit you in the back. You break your wing. And then... I had a choice to make. Right yeah, or hit yeah, your wing? Just, just marching, man. Right what? or your wing? It's your choice. Yeah, then you, you hit it. me. You hit you hit okay, me by diving. Next, next time I break your rear wing. Alright? Yeah, just do that, man. You think you're better than anyone or what? We are the champions! We are the champions! Here he comes out of the final corner, and Jean-Eric Verne cuts the timing no. beam and goes quickest! No, he's... He has, Did he's he gone quickest! <laughs> he's crashed the car and gone to the top of the times! Mark Preston <laughs> can't understand it, but the timing beam is so close to the exit of that final corner, you can take pole position backwards! Brilliant! <laughs>we're on board with the second place man Felix Rosenquist very close to the back of Buemi looks to the inside line and Rosenquist leads what a great move from the Mahindra driver oh, oh he's no! hit him the two the cheaters hit each other and Van does he make it round the corner oh, yes. oh, oh. Daniel Lapp leading the way this is the battle over second Turvey Buemi lock up from PK just got it in here comes Degrassi, looking to the outside, Burns going to squeeze him, a little bit of wheel rubbing, Degrassi's gone in too hot, just keeps it out of the wall. Oh, Burns off the front right, right. Burns is in third. What an idiot. Oh, we got third, what an idiot. Daniel Abt, the German, it's a win for Audi in Berlin. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Straight on, goes Jose Maria Lopez. Lopez has thrown it away from 8th place, and that's another place gained for Jean-Eric Byrne. There he goes, he's done that twice today. Has Lopez make that three? <laughs> now look at this nose to tail for the lead of the race between the two Audis. Side by side, coming down, and Degrassi tries to squeeze his teammate. That was risky. As Jean-Eric Byrne is the driver's champion. The day after Bastille Day, the way the day that France win the World Cup, Jean-Eric Verne wraps up the Drivers' Championship and wins the final race in New York City. So the season about to start in Adderia. Here come the lights. 2018-19 Formula E begins now. Oh, look up from D'Ambrosio. Oh, no, he slides out wide, but he holds on to win in Marrakesh. Jerome D'Ambrosio wins for Mahindra. Absolute joy on the radio. I love you guys. I love Mahindra. That's D'Ambrosio screaming, I love Mahindra. Oh, oh come on, oh, oh, he's in. Buemi's in the wall, Bird's in the lead. Ah. Buemi's going to have to come in and change that wing. Buemi comes into the pits having led from pole position, he slithered into the wall at the chicane. Left, left front suspension's broken, Jack. Look how buckled the wheel is. No points for the Swiss driver, having started from pole position and leading the race. Here comes Verlein out of the final zero. corner. Is it it's zero. zero. Degrassi wins. Degrassi uh, wins. Uh, uh, uh. Now this is where you're going to see Sam try and dummy. He got the inside a bit to the right, and he come back over to the left, and he might have another dive to the right. See if he can do it. He's always oh, looking. They nudge. They nudge. And Not Lotter enough. holds on. Oh, and Lotter has got damage. Flat tire. Lotter, Lotter has got a puncture. He's out of the race. He's out of the battle for the lead. And Sam Bird is in front in Hong Kong. All coming through the top seven, and there goes Van. Vern leads in Sanya. This is the jump section of the circuit. 
yet another rain-free event in ABB Formula E. There's a rain warning coming in. It's very, very windy. And here comes the rain. See how it starts raining. Oh, it's starting to rain now. The rain is really coming down now. Last thing you want is rain. And he's in it. front. Yeah. And now Freins goes for Lynn, not into Tabak. Oh, into Tabak. Jean-Eric Verne sending it up the inside of De Costa. And there was a bit of a bump in there. There goes Bird to the outside. This is a risky one. He's done oh, it. Oh, what a move from oh, Sam Bird. And Verne. Jean-Eric Verne. There's chaos at turn one. Oh. And Jean-Eric Verne will not score any points. Diaz to Cheetah can't believe what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. We have done it again. We have done it again. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Jeb. We have done it again. And Bird is through! Up the inside into the chicane. Bird's into the lead of the race in Diria. Bird to win the first race of season six. The 31 year old from London in his 14th Formula E race wins in Diria. Alexander Sims victorious for BMW. What a race! What a drive! And so, what did Robin Freins do? The third car here, purple and vision version racing. Rear. Whoa, he's gone big time. I think he was lucky, he didn't know wall. Whoa. Yeah, lost to rear as soon as he touched the brakes. Here comes the Costa to the inside. He's on Fabus. Oh, De Vries is closing the door aggressively. Now he's locked up massively. Oh, and he's into Freins. Oh, Robin Freins caught out of nowhere. Yeah. He won't stop. So, here we go. Gunter got the dummy, got the inside of Vern. He did that really well. He did. Actually, he really did. Because you would think Vern will just cover the inside the whole way, but he, he did fall for the dummy. And Evans, they're going to go side by side through turn three. Oh, that's oh, brave. Over the debris. Evans gets on the dirt. Buemi does hold the place in eighth position, and good to hits Evans. And Evans is sent spinning around, and he drops a long way down the order, and he's going to extend his championship lead even further across the line. Antonio Felix da Costa wins again in Berlin. Yes, Van Zem Farosh! Two in a row, guys. Three in a row. Amazing. He's better at driving than he's at counting. He's forgotten how many races he's won. <laughs> Up to the final corner. Fries to the outside again. Not going to be able to do it. He'll try and get the drive off the corner. An undercut Gunter on the way out. But I don't think he's going to be close enough. It might be the closest finish in Formula E history. Across the line, the checker flag. Gunter wins. And on the streets of Berlin at Tempelhof Airport, it is a remarkable achievement. Diaz Tachita wrap up the drivers and the team's title. Antonio Felix da Costa, the champion of Formula E. <laughs> what a oh my god. Oh, I've lost for words, man. That's the first. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you, Diaz the Cheetah, for, for bringing me the best chance of my life. I have no words, guys. Thank you. 1% of usable energy remaining. It's going to be a little bit too close, isn't this, for Lotterer? Whoa, oh, Rask going down in there. Ooh. What a bold move from Rene Rast. It hasn't really oh. worked out. Lotterer comes to squeeze him, and Rast gets the move done, gets the inside. Lotterer is not impressed with that one. They're still side by side. Oh, my. There's more contact. Rast is going to feed him out into the wall here, and he's up into third place. Stoffel van Dorn down into the penultimate corner. The champion's crowned already. Antonio Felix da Costa and Diaz da Cheetah, the champions. But the final honours in the final race of six races in nine days goes to Stoffel van Dorn and Mercedes. It's a 1-2 at their home race. De Vries in second position. He pulls to the right-hand side, pulls ahead of Evans. Is he going to try and get a jacket here? as well? <laughs> it's three wide as they come down into the corner, and Evans is taking Verline too. They're going to make contact. Jean-Eric Verne's heading towards the wall. They both squeeze through. Once again, the rivalry at Diaz to Cheetah, absolutely unmanaged and uncontrolled. No, it's Degrassi slowing. It's, true, yeah. it's race leader Lucas Degrassi slowing on the way up the hill in a big spin, and the two Mercedes collide. Mortara, oh, he's big out of shape, and he's managed to save it. Save of the season for Edo Mortara, not save of the season here. The checker flag's not there. There's another lap. None of them have energy. Yeah, this is an absolute catastrophe. De Vries is going to be the only driver 
Yeah. Maybe Cassidy? What's going on? Look, they're all weaving around because all of the field, apart from Mercedes, have miscalculated the length of the race. And it's victory in Valencia for Jake Dennis, his first win in ABB FIA Formula E. I am so happy. I am so happy. You might even have a beer. Okay, head down, max efficiency, max efficiency. He's going for it now! Oh, what a move! Evans up through Beau Rivage, takes the lead of the Monaco e Prix. Absolutely outrageous stuff from the Kiwi! He clearly had his bravery pills this morning, did he not? And Mortara sends it in at 11, and Gunter's getting mucked! Mortara's up to third, Degrassi's up to fourth, Rast is trying to get through as well! Lotter in deep into the uh, right-hander, and oh, and he's squeezing Sims in the wall, and he's just not letting him through. Sims forces his way past in the end. And there goes Van. Van on the attack for the lead. They bang wheels, and Gunter says thank you very much. Sam Bird and Jaguar win in New York City and take the lead of the championship. It's coming. The man from Nuneaton is about to win his home E through the left-hander, the BMW i Andretti car comes out across the line, lights up the rear tyres, and in dominant fashion, Jake Dennis wins in London. That is how you win a Formula E boy, Formula Race boys. Come on! Oh my God, yes! <laughs> Lucas de Grassi has just driven through the pit lane and taken the lead of the London E Prix. Look in the right hand, left to right hand side, de Grassi comes into the pits, goes at pit lane speed, <laughs> Surely the pit lane would have been closed when he when he's going to rejoin because usually you have to wait for the queue to go. Anyway, Here that is go. one for the stewards. That is one for the stewards. And look at this, the two Audis going side by side and Degrassi's going for the lead. Lucas Degrassi to the inside and he gets ahead of De Costa and Rast tries to force his way through as well. It's an Audi 1-2 in Germany. But here comes Nick De Vries, the Mercedes EQ driver, out across the line. He finishes in eighth place and he wins the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship. Through the final corner comes Nick De Vries. It's a Mercedes 1-2 in the opening race of the season. The reigning champion wins again. And there comes the move from Verline, and he forces his way through a 14 and De Costa follows through as well. So two places lost for Oliver Askew. It's a historic day for Porsche as they take their first Formula E win with a 1-2 in Mexico. Verline wins, Lotter a second. Here's De Vries and Verne going for it and De Vries tries to close him off but it's too late. Verne's got him. He had one point coming into this weekend but it's a double win for Mitch Evans in Rome. Rob's for us guys. And yes, you've got it again! Yes! Well done! Well done! Wow! Wow! It's Van Dorn. <laughs> move from Van Dorn. Goes past by. Vernon Van Dorn Ooh, Ooh, defending Eduardo here? Mortara and through goes Vern. But then Mortara gets him back. And Van Dorn is going to try and get through on Vern. The championship contenders wheel to wheel into turn seven. And suddenly that has allowed Andre Lotterer to join the fight. And we go green in Berlin. Charging down towards the first corner, and Freitz might get overtaken here by Nick De Vries. De Vries goes for the lead. De Vries sends it, and from third position, he forces his way past Eduardo Mortara. A mega start from the reigning champion, and De Vries in the Mercedes EQ gets to the lead. May have to lift off here, Jean Eric Verne, earlier than Mortara. Mortara tries to get through. Verne's out of shape. Evans is surely going to hold on. I think Verne is going to run out of energy here. He covers the inside again. It's going to be right together for second place. But Mitch Evans in the Jaguar has driven a superb race, and Mitch Evans wins in Jakarta. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> And Mitch Evans takes his third win of the season. Evans, and he keeps it stuck in there. He's also got the Porsche. He goes to the inside of Verline on the attack. But Verline holds the position. Whoa, Cassidy. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, I mean, just... Oh, my goodness me. Whoop. I mean, what an earth. That's a big shunt. They all just flew straight on. Evans to the inside. Oh, he's lost it. Oh! 
Evans did the Jaguar spins. Oh, well held. Keeps it together. Only falls down into fifth position, so doesn't actually lose any places. Well held. Oh. And Jake Dennis, through the final corner, takes a dominant win in London. Up in the air goes Sims. Oh, and then a couple of big hits at the back, sort of out of no and then everyone piles in at the back. Very weird accident, that. It's Stoffel Van Dorn out of the final corner. Stoffel Van Dorn is the world champion. Van Dorn wins for Mercedes EQ, and they wrap up the team's championship. Double championship victory. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he hit the hit him. Degrassi wins! Not into the back! Oh. What a move!